YouTube just released seven brand new settings and you need to make sure that some of these are turned on and you need to make sure that some of them are turned off because some of these settings that are turned on by default could actually be destroying your reach. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know all seven settings and whether or not you need to turn them on or turn them off so that you could skyrocket your growth before 2026. Setting number one is you need to make sure that you're turning off showing your content to your subscribers if you're uploading YouTube shorts. Now here's how you could actually figure that out. If you come into your analytics right here and you come over here under audience, sorry, under overview, and you see that most of your top content is YouTube shorts, then you could keep this setting turned on. But if your most of your content is not YouTube shorts, then you need to make sure that you come over into your shorts right here and you need to click on the video that you're gonna be posting soon and you wanna scroll down right here. It's gonna be under your tags and then a little bit further down and you're gonna see published to subscription feed and notify subscribers. If if most of your viewers do not watch YouTube Shorts, you want to make sure that this is checked off and then you want to come over here and you want to click on save in the top right hand corner up here. Click on save. But if most of your viewers do watch Shorts, then it's totally fine for you to leave this enabled right here. Essentially, you don't want to show your content to your subscribers if they're not interested in watching Shorts because what that will do is actually destroy the views that you're getting on YouTube Shorts. Now, most of my audience does engage with Shorts, so I'm personally going to leave this on. Setting number two is you need to make sure that you have the best account settings enabled, otherwise YouTube won't give you the reach that you want. So here's what you need to make sure you're doing. You wanna come over into your channel over here. We're gonna click on discard changes right here because I was just showing you what to do with another video. And you wanna make sure that you're in your YouTube studio and then you're gonna click on settings right here. You wanna come over in a channel into advanced settings. You wanna scroll all the way down. You wanna make sure that hype is going to be turned on and that video quality enhancements are going to be turned on. Cause as we can see, this isn't turned on by default and this wasn't turned on either. I had to go through and actually click on these and you wanna make sure that you have these on because with this is going to do is let YouTube increase the quality of your content. So if you're recording with a suboptimal camera or you're recording from your phone or something like that, this will actually increase the quality of your videos. Same exact thing. If you don't have a professional mic like what I'm recording on, you could use this right here to enhance the audio quality of the post that you're going to be creating. And then hype right here, this is going to be available to you if you have between 500 and 500,000 subscribers. Now the channel that I'm showing you this from has over 800,000 subscribers, which is why I can't click this, but if I had less than 500,000 subscribers, you would be able to see this. But essentially, you wanna make sure that all three of these are turned on because if not, you're not gonna be getting the views that you actually deserve on YouTube. Setting number three is you need to be checking whether or not the languages that YouTube is translating your content to is helping you or hurting you. Now here's how you're actually going to figure this out. What you wanna do is you wanna come over to one of your recent uploads on YouTube. For example, we'll come over here and we will look at this video right here. What we wanna do is we wanna come into the analytics of this video. We then wanna click on advanced mode right here and under breakdown, we wanna change this. We wanna scroll down a little bit and we want to do this by geography. If we click on geography right here, this is going to show us who is watching our content and how long they're actually watching for. And what you want to do is come under average view duration right here. You want to click on this one time and this is going to filter this from highest average view duration to lowest average view duration. What you want to do is you want to see what languages and what geographies right here are ruining your reach. So we can see the average right here is 352. And if we scroll down, what we want to look for is anybody that's dragging that down. So for me, Ghana, the Netherlands, Bangladesh, Ethiopia, Morocco, Sri Lanka, India, Nigeria, Sweden, Pakistan, Kenya. These are all below my typical average view duration. Now, what you want to do is see which of these is getting the most reach. So for me, it's Nigeria and then it's India. Now, what I want to do is I want to come over here. I want to come over into languages and I want to see whether or not I'm publishing in a language that is going to actually hit these people. So Hindi is what is hitting India. And then for the other country, I'm not really sure what content or what language is actually hitting it. But what I can do now is I can actually come over here under publish right here and click on unpublish or click on delete. And then YouTube will stop showing my content to those people because they're destroying my average view duration. And they're one of the reasons that I'm not getting the views that I want. And the same exact thing could be happening in your channel. So you need to make sure you check this. Now setting number four is you need to make sure that you're able to see how many views per hour each video is getting on YouTube. 
Now, the way that you're going to be able to view this is by having vidIQ's Chrome extension. Because if we come over here, we can see that this video right here is getting 25 views an hour. This video is getting over 140,000 views an hour. And it's not only helpful when you're scrolling on the homepage, it's also helpful if you do a search for something. For example, if I come over here and type in Notebook OM, I'm going to filter this just by videos right now. And this is going to show me which videos are getting the most views per hour. Because this video is getting 937. This video is getting 157. This video is getting 129, 56. So if I wanted to make content, I would try to mimic my content off of this video right here because it's getting way more views per hour than any of these other videos. And it's not only helpful when you do a search for something when you're on the homepage, you could also this come over to somebody's a... content right here, click on videos, and you'll actually be able to scroll through and you'll be able to see which videos are getting the most views per hour. And this is going to reveal to you which videos you should be making content like. For example, this one, high views per hour. This one, high views per hour. This one, low views per hour. And then what we're able to do is we're actually able to come over here, click on view trending videos, and this will show us all of his highest view per hour videos so that we can determine what kind of content we should be making. And guess what? If we didn't have vidIQ's Chrome extension, we would have never been able to see this. And then as a result, we'd be at a disadvantage trying to grow on YouTube because we don't have access to the analytics that are actually helping people grow. So you need to make sure that you have this tool too, because if not, your competitors are using it. And that's why they keep making better videos than you. And the best part about vidIQ is you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with it today for only $1. Please don't let $1 be the difference between you getting the growth that you want to on YouTube or you continuing to fail and flop. Because vidIQ has personally helped me gain over 800,000 subscribers on this channel and over 80,000 subscribers on my other channel. And had I not used this tool, I would have been stuck with low views and low subscribers, just like you probably are right now. Setting number five and number six are going to have to do with A-B testing your titles and your thumbnails. Because just because these settings are allowed doesn't mean you should be using them. Okay, so let's have a talk about this. If we come over into details right here, we're going to see A-B testing right here. And we're going to see there are several different ways that you could do this. One, you could A-B test your title only. It allows you to add either two or three. The next thing you could do is thumbnail only. It allows you to do the same thing. It adds two thumbnails or three thumbnails. And then you can also do title and thumbnail. Now, I would strongly suggest that you never use this feature right here. You don't want to use title and thumbnail. In addition to that, I would strongly suggest that you never use thumbnail right here. The only A-B test that you should be using is title because your title A-B test is actually going to determine how many people end up getting shown your content because the keywords that you have on your title affect how many impressions you end up getting. Now, the reason that you don't want to do thumbnail A-B test is because this is actually set up the wrong way. So the title A-B test is going to show your content to the people that end up getting you the most views on that video. But your thumbnail A-B test is going to show your content to the people that watch your video for the longest period of time. And your thumbnail kind of has nothing to do with this. In fact, your video itself is the thing that determines your average view duration. So you do not want to make sure that you're using this thumbnail or title and thumbnail. You only want to be using the A-B feature for title only. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't actually come over here and actually change out your thumbnails because that would be a smart thing to do if you have a thumbnail that's not doing that well. But the way that you should do that is just by coming over to your thumbnail right here, clicking on change, and then uploading a new thumbnail. Please do not use the A-B test feature for this because I'm telling you, it is only going to decrease your reach. It is not going to help you get more views. And what you should do is just change your thumbnail right here, then come over into analytics, click on reach right here, and you'll be able to actually see your impression click-through rate and see if whether or not it increased or decreased. For example, let's say that you change your thumbnail on this this day right here, well, clearly we went from 4.1 click-through rate to 3.1 click-through rate. So this isn't going to be good enough for your video to continue to get reached. So that means that your thumbnail wasn't good and you should actually change it back. You could change this as many times as you want, but I would wait at least 24 to 48 hours in between changes to make sure that your click-through rate is actually going up and not going down when you change your thumbnail. And then setting number seven is again going to be a bunch of different settings that you need to make sure are enabled when you go to upload something on YouTube. Because if you don't have these enabled, you're not going to be eligible to get as much reach as you could be getting. So here are these other settings that you need to make sure are enabled. So if we come over to a video, again, we could check on this video right here. We click on details. We want to make sure that this right here, you want to mark this as no. Paid promotion, 
Only mark this if you're promoting something inside of your content and it is incredibly important that you do this. So please make sure you're turning that on. Altered content right here, you could leave this blank unless you made something AI generated that involves a person. If you did, click on yes. If you didn't, I would just leave this marked as nothing. And again, this is incredibly important because if you don't actually disclose this, YouTube could end up banning your channel because technically you're lying to them. Now, here's where we really get to the really important settings. You wanna make sure that this is turned on. You wanna make sure that this is turned on. You wanna make sure that this is turned on. Obviously, you wanna have tags in here. Now, if we scroll down, you should have allow embedding turned on. Shorts remixing, you wanna make sure that allow video and audio remixing is turned on. In this category right here, you need to make sure that you have the right category filled out because you have the wrong category filled out. YouTube is going to show your content to the wrong people and then as a result, you're not gonna end up getting the reach that you want. Now, the next Next thing that you need to make sure that you do is have show how many viewers like this video turned on and under comments right here under moderation put none because you don't want this actually stopping people from commenting on your video because that could be the reason you're getting no comments and as a result getting no views. Now, if you want one-on-one -on -one help growing faster on YouTube, the same exact way I helped this creator get over a million subscribers, this creator over a million subscribers, and this creator multiple millions of subscribers, then I want to work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you grow faster. If that sounds interesting, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through three different ways we can work together one-on-one -on -one to help take the guesswork out of you growing on YouTube. If that sounds interesting, I'll see you over there.